Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a, such a great honor to meet all of you here uh, to introduce the latest version of Apollo 3.0. Um, so before I jump into the, some details about 3.0, let's revisit the Apollo ar software architecture. So on the four layers that uh, all of you are already familiar with, we added this additional layer to help our customers and partners, developers, to customize their own um, close the venue um, uh, production ready uh, systems. Because uh, we have already demonstrated these uh, capabilities in minibus, microcars, and some other commercial products. We believe that this is a turnkey solution for our partners and developers to leverage the Apollo technology with their own technical strength for their own commercialization practices. So next, I'm going to give an overview of uh, the major upgrades in Apollo 3.0 and seven of the technical features, including uh, the improved perception and al uh, planning algorithms to allow the vehicle to drive at low speed in a closed venue. Uh, so we have the, uh, the vehicle safety uh, control mechanism as a new addition to the Apollo system. Uh, we enhanced the vehicle safety monitor system we upgraded the, the HMI uh, debugging tools, and we also the first. It, it's the first time for us to introduce the uh, set of the first set of the developer API, and also um, the relative map, which is contributed by our uh, Apollo uh, community partners. Um, so when we drive on the uh, at the low speed in a closed venue, we need a very uh, real time perception of the obstacles at a shorter distance. So that's why we introduced the uh, ultrasonic sensors to fuse with some other sensors on the vehicle to detect the obstacles at a very safe di distance. Uh, Apollo 3.0 also supported the, the low beam Volendine 16 LiDAR uh, so that our customers with some budget concerns, now they have the options to use the more affordable solutions for their own uh, Thomas driving solutions. We also upgraded the uh, vision-based uh, perception algorithm uh, to enable the uh, CIPV detection so that our partners or developers can fully utilize that information to design their own planning algorithms. And of course, the neural networks in our uh, perception algorithms to detect and predict the lane marks are uh, also upgraded with a better uh, uh, prediction accuracy. Uh, in Apollo 3.0, we're officially uh, introducing the uh, Lattice Planner, and this is the planning algorithm uh, in, uh, used in this uh, uh, Nulex, the microcar system. Um, because, uh, we decompose this, uh, the uh, trajectory planning, the two-dimensional trajectory planning uh, uh, algorithms into one-dimensional problem solving in both the lateral and the longitudinal spaces, so making this algorithm uh, appropriate for driving at low speed in a closed venue. Uh, so right now, this, um, uh, the vehicle with the lattice planner is able to safely uh, avoid obstacles uh, at various road conditions. And also we upgraded the, another planner, what uh, I think a lot of you are already very familiar with, the EM, EM planner, to support any point-to-point -point trajectory planning from the uh, vehicle start to uh, vehicle safe curbside parking at final destination. Uh, vehicle safety is a very com critical component for Apollo. Uh, the Apollo team has been working very hard to introduce uh, the vehicle safety features uh, to Apollo open source platform to increase our uh, developers' awareness of their uh, vehicle safety. Uh, so in Apollo 3.0, we added this brand new system called vehicle safety control. Um, so when something uh, unexpected happens, um, especially something abnormal happens, uh, the, uh, the system will trigger the audio and visual alert uh, and uh, try to slow down the vehicle. If the, if the vehicle doesn't get disengaged within a certain amount of time, and then the system will issue the command to immediately stop the vehicle uh, in a safe way. Um, a ton of vehicle consists uh, a lot of pieces of hardware and software pieces, um, so we need a very uh, complete and also powerful monitor system to notify us when something abnormal happens, especially when there's a hardware failure or software errors. 
Um, so when something ab abnormal happens, uh, the safety monitor will send the notification to Guardian so that the Guardian module can kick in. And also, it will trigger uh, the visual alert with the color-coded messages and display that on the HMI to ensure the vehicle safety. Uh, of course, uh, the HMI uh, is the way that we actually communicate or interact with Apollo. So we send the commands to Apollo through the HMI interface, and also we receive the vehicle status and also the surrounding information uh, from the HMI as well. Um, so in Apollo 3.0, to in, in, enable the volume production, we uh, upgraded the HMI debugging tools to um, have a richer uh, display of more visual elements, to have uh, the, uh, the overlay display of the reflection and point cloud uh, data. Uh, we have this camera real time and history playback uh, so that uh, we are uh, clear about the road conditions in every second. And also um, in um, <coughs> uh, the navigation mode, the navigation map display is also supported. Um, the HMI Open API will be the first um, set of the Open APIs that we open for our developers. Uh, now the developers will be able to use that set of the API to design and implement their own HMIs. They can um, switch on and off uh, the autonomous driving mode. They can activate or deactivate uh, different hardware or software modules. They can switch the, the map or the vehicle profiles if needed, and also they can send the inquiries about uh, the vehicle current status. The relative map is actually one of uh, very popular uh, features uh, that our developers like. So because we, we know that Apollo is not for uh, our Apollo team, it's actually for all the developers, for all the partners in the Apollo community. Um, so we uh, work together with Citi, uh, one of our partners um, since Apollo 2.5. Uh, our collaboration has never been stopped. So we co-developed some new features for the relative map. Uh, the relative map uh, now supports multiple lanes. So right now the, the, the developers will be able to use some offline tools to generate their own relative map. Or they have the options to use the online service as well. Um, so we work together with City to use this multiple lane uh, relative map to implement the lane changes at high speed on the freeway and deploy that on their heavy duty trucks uh, in the navigation mode. Um, so with all these being said, um, all the features, all the major upgrades in the existing modules or the new additions are now avail available on the GitHub. So I do encourage you to check out our code repositories uh, and let us know the feedback. So before I end my uh, introduction, uh, I would really want to you know, re-emphasize the, uh, the safety and the security. Um, so uh, the Apollo team has been working very hard. So we, uh, we want to make sure that uh, when we uh, design and implement uh, the software or hardwares, uh, we have to uh, ensure that the security and safety, uh, and safety is in every aspect of the entire uh, life cycle. Uh, and also we are doing uh, the test at different levels. Uh, we're doing the hardware um, reliability test, drive-by-wire test, the full vehicle test, simulation test, and real, uh, real road test as well. So to address the functional safety issues, we have this multi-user, uh, multi-sensor fusion. We have redundant software and hardware designs. Um, and also we have um, a very powerful uh, monitor and uh, the Guardian system, uh, as well as uh, the security OTA update and the black box to store and record the real uh, traffic and uh, uh, driving data. Um, so we are actually the first uh, among the Chinese tech com companies to be certified with ISO 26262, um, the function and safety management, um, because uh, this is the first step that the Apollo team has made, but uh, it's really meaningful for us because we know, that, you know that this standard is very rigorous in the auto industry, and we are trying to make our product comply with this standard in the industry. And I want to work together with our partners to innovate the future uh, mobility in a safe way. Um, 
that has concluded my introduction for the Apollo 3.0. And next, uh, my colleague Helen is going to introduce the uh, Apollo hardware development platform. Thank <laughs> you.